Leading the band on the field is our field commander, Mr. Dylan McCumber. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us, from the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to be the fuel that keeps you firing on all cylinders. Night with the playing of amazing. With Mitsubishi Electric's revolutionary hyperheating systems, you can keep one or every room toasty with lower energy bills and no new ductwork, even when temperatures outside dip to minus 13. So your home will never feel like an icebox. Right, Buster? Good boy. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Make comfort personal. Dr. Chad Lancaster DDS offers comprehensive quality care for the entire family. The practice handles all levels of dental work from a basic cleaning or root canal to implants or referrals to other specialists. With a convenient location in Gasaway and a friendly staff awaiting your arrival, they can help you maintain a happy and healthy smile. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Lancaster's dental office by calling 304-364-8565. have a favorite Mexican dish? What could make that favorite Mexican dish even more special? By enjoying it with family and friends at El Gallo Mexican Restaurant in Flatwoods. We are located conveniently at exit 67 in the Flatwoods Center. Our authentic dishes are made with you in mind. We look forward to seeing you here with us. We're open daily at 11 a.m. At Glimble State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimble State University, you can become a pioneer. In old glory is FLT Company Commander, Cadet Captain, Jared Fairby.
79 exit 67 in Flatwoods, home of the Stockham Deep and Selham Cheap Boys, and proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics all season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79 exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service, home of the 10-year 150,000 mile limited powertrain warranty, Midstage Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County. MidstageChevy.com and let's go Eagles! The new four-quarter calzone from Little Caesars is a four-meat pizza with a different meat in each calzone crust. It's perfect for... Movie night! Picnic! Sleepover! And NFL football games! Get the four-quarter calzone for $8.99. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, yeah. How'd you spend the off-season? Hmm. Picnic! Sleepover! Movie night! Best off-season ever! Just hit the weights. Try the new four-quarter calzone. It's officially delicious. Pizza, pizza. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com slash WV to find out more. Welcome back to Little Caesars pregame show in Braxton Live. Shout out to Olivia Ramsey. She was our please. trivia question winner. Panther fans will remember. A couple keys to victory for Clay County would be to keep the pressure own. on Braxton. Don't let the record or your situation get too big into your head. And just keep the pressure down. Keep Tonight, keep trying to score. Don't take Braxton too lightly. Our team for Braxton field. County, they want to control the clock. Later, With the Eliza injuries Nail, they have Mr. and how explosive, uh, how explosive Clay County can be, Braxton County is going to want to try and run the ball and keep possession of it as long as possible. We are going to throw it up top to Jamie and Shane for the rest of this pregame. Senior, number four, who plays East Fairmont this evening. That's right. We'll be keeping an eye on that game. Uh, f uh, number five is Weir. Number six, Mingo Central. Number seven, Winfield. Number eight, East Fairmont. That's your uh, top half. That's your double A Metro News game of the week, I believe. That is it? your – you know what? I think I've got that selected up there. I'll um, do some recon while you're doing yeah, that. It's, uh, I think we selected that one to put up yep, close there. It, there. Is. Yeah. it is not the Metro News game of the week. Is it not? The East-West Bowl, no. Well, it is to me. It is, yeah, it is to me as well. <laughs> Frankfurt <laughs> Kaiser is actually the double-A game of the week. Okay. Uh, number nine, Herbert Hoover. Ten, Philip Barber. Eleven, Lewis County. Twelve, Frankfurt. Thirteen, Independence. Fourteen, Point Pleasant. 14 Lincoln. We got a tie right there. Another for, tie. For 14. Yep. Uh, and then 16 rounds out, or 16. Clay County rounds out the top 16 in that 16th slot. Right. Now, interesting. And we, we talked about this on the ride over. We were beating numbers around talking. Wayne comes in eight tenths of a point. I'm sorry. Four, four hundredths of a point. Four hundredths of a point behind them. Yep. Both teams playing tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Wayne is playing Polka. The interesting thing is they have more bonus points to pick up. That, yes, they do. Um, Absolutely. And so, you know, Clay is, in my opinion, only an opinion, a must win. Yes. There is no – there's no slide in the back door if you lose this game. Uh, they have to win. And that still may not quite be enough. It really may not be. I, 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 it's just one of those things, you know. Points matter at the end of the day. S schedule is is everything at times. Took the words right out of my mouth. The strength of your schedule yep. is is just one of the main keys that that allow you to find yourself in postseason. Correct. So well, and, and one of the things that I was looking at, Wayne. Uh, Clay has 20.6 bonus points. Wayne has 35.3. Yeah. And they have four losses. Yeah. That 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 is uh strength of schedule. Yes, it is. Well, and go back up to Fairmont Senior. Fairmont Senior is at six and two. Six and two. 
Yep. With 34 30. bonus points. Strength of schedule. Yep, strength. You know, so. Uh, and, and that's what the WVSSAC has tried to do with the, the change in the scoring, even in the, is to try and encourage Encur teams yeah. to build stronger schedules. Because then you can earn points off teams even if you lose. Well, and listen, Braxton's schedule is strong. It is. We we. Uh, I'd know. like to see it even be stronger. Yeah. We've talked about that. Uh, I'd like to replace the single A team with a, another triple A team. Or or at least a you know an Elkins, uh, a Philip Barber. Yeah. Uh, somebody local that's yep. a double A. Yep. So. Absolutely. We did so such a great job with double A. Go ahead and do single A. All right, here we go. Uh, Tucker County, uh, nine and zero, number one. Greenbrier West, nine and zero, number two. Williamstown, nine and zero, number three. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And how, how this is happening, I don't know. James Monroe, it comes in at four. Wahama, nine and zero, comes in at five. Yeah. That's impressive to it have is. that many teams still undefeated this far in the season. It is. Uh, St. Mary's falls in at the sixth spot. Uh, Man High School at seven. Tug Valley at eight. Cameron at nine. Doddridge County comes in at 10. East Hardy, 11. Tyler Consolidated, 12. Summers County, 13. Work County, 14. Wheeling Central, 15. And Midland Trail rounds out to top 16. Uh Wheel, is, is it Wheeling's got the tough game tonight? Wheeling Central has Williamstown tonight. Aha. Uh -huh. that, that's a make or break right there. Yep. Um, yep, right there it is. That's the Metro News class single A game of the week. If they win that ball game, that is huge. Yes. That, that will catapult them a couple of places uh, in those rankings. Uh, I don't think it will get them a home field advantage in the playoffs, but it will maintain that they're in the playoffs for sure. Well, think about this. If, if they would get that upset, they're getting the six base points and then nine bonus points. That's big. Fifteen points that are going to just propel you up the ladder. Oh, yeah. Fall right in your back pocket, and here we go. Yeah, yeah. you're going to go from 15th possibly to being right on the door of hosting. It Probably a bit up to about 10. Well, and depending on what happens above you, right. you know, if, what if Doddridge falls? Yeah. What if Cameron falls? Uh, yeah. There's so many what ifs. Yeah, there are. And this is why it's fun. Yep, exactly. <laughs> That's why we pay attention to these rankings and the points. And we're tab. You know, you had papers out coming down here tabulating and looking. and It's uh, uh, it's interesting. It is. Now, we're getting ready to go into interesting ourselves because the Eagles uh, are obviously trying to come into the nice contest to be the spoiler. Correct. And also pick up another win before they close out the season. Uh and hoping to do that. Been shut out five times this season, and we're hoping it is not a sixth. Exactly. But this stingy defense is going to make it a little bit difficult. Listen, and, and missing some guys in some very important positions, uh, Elias is going to hurt yep. not having him on the field. Yep. Uh, offensively, you know, and and, and Connor Facemeyer. Wish not good luck to both teams. Right, uh, on that official times up there on the clock. Uh, it changes. We change that. We'll let you know. It really we'll does. Remind your quarterbacks so, about the forty second clocks in the end zone. Okay, we'll be playing with those. If we change that, we'll let you know before we do it. Okay, guys, we expect good sportsmanship out of both teams. That's the biggest thing that we'll deal with. Safety, sportsmanship. We get that. We'll we'll have a good night, guys. Have a silver all there. That's the heads. Eagle is tails, okay? White's going to call a toss over here. Whoever wins the toss will have four choices. You can defer to the second half. If you decide you're going to take your choice, you can receive, kick, or defend the goal, okay? 21's going to call this toss, guys. He's going to call it loud enough for all of us in there to hear it. And if I drop this coin, we'll do it over. What's your call? Tails. White's called tails. White's guys. called tails, guys. White's called tails. Here we go. And it is heads. You won the toss. Okay. Blue has deferred. Blue County won the toss. They've elected to defer. Well, you know what I mean? Yep. Over the years, uh, we still get to connect from time to time and absolutely love it. It's, you know what I mean? Those they're just wonderful people, such as yourself. You were connecting earlier with some other students. Yep. You know, uh, so. Uh, 
when the whistle blows, we play ball. And when it's over, shake hands, hug, and, yep. you know. Ha- what are you doing this weekend? Exactly. Yep. So just, just some great, great folks over here. Absolutely. Clay County has won the toss. They've elected to defer to the second half. So your Eagles are going to start out on offense. Now, folks, we do not have the greatest vantage point for this ball game. We are off of the athletic training building in the what would be, I guess, the north end of the field, opposite of the swimming pool, if you're familiar with Correct. the facility. Correct, we're at the high school end. Yep. We're sitting in the uh, what would be right field of the softball field, calling the game end-to-end. <laughs> it, so, yeah. yeah, now, we do have an advantage. We do have we have a, uh, a Braxton Live crew here that is going to enlighten us from the press box, from the yeah. center of the field. We are going to have a little monitor here. so That should help. We're going to do the best we can with the tools. Uh, but bear with tools. us. Yes, please do. <laughs> bear with us. We may get a number or two incorrect. All right, it looks like Bay County is set. Not sure of the number of the young man going to kick off for us. Looks like 61. Looks like 61, and that is Jackson Brown. The clock is set, and we're waiting. The official's got his arm up, blows the whistle, and here we go. Last game of the season for the Eagles. Brown kicks off, and it squibs down the field, takes a crazy hop, and Markham's going to pick it up at about the 15, and he is going to try and get to the 20, and I do not think he got it. Uh, Looks like he got the 16, and that's going to be about it. The English on that ball slowed him down so much that, you know what I mean, he yes. just kept having to change directions, and uh, before you know it, the defense was there. Yeah, he could not close in because it had such a crazy spin. So here we go. Damon Moss runs out onto the field with the first offensive play of the evening, and we're going to see what the Eagles can do. Nice methodical drive down the field. be great. That would be a good start. Just settle in, make some plays. Take it's, what the defense yep, gives you. Exactly. Trips right, single receiver to the left. Stoniker, the lone setback, lines up right behind Damon. Hand off to Stoniker. Tries it up the left side, and that wall shuts down very quickly. They're going to blow it dead. And I think Mr. Stoniker lost about a yard. Looks like the ball, yep. Yep. It's on the yawn side of the 15 now. So That goal post is almost perfectly positioned to where you can't see a lick of nothing. It's going to be second down and 11 now. I do not see the ball marker. That's very faint on that sideline. Mm-hmm. Second down and 11 now for the Eagles. Triple receivers to the right. The lone setback to the left is Brody Smar. Snap back. It's a pitch to Stoniker. He's looking downfield, cuts inside, cuts across the grain. He's got some running room. And it looks like he picked up about four yards, maybe five on that. Good good little pickup. Yeah. Nice little cut back. Clay was able to shut that outside edge down pretty quick, but when he stuck his foot in the ground, he got back upfield and picked up some positive yards. Well, that's some nice downfield blocking by Joel Sigmund and Jacob Stevens there for the Eagles. Gave him a nice little wall. Here we are, third and seven, so pick up a four on that. So we're looking at third down and seven. Light seven, heavy six. Four quick formation. Moss snaps high. Out into the flat, caught. And he's going to be short of the stick. Boy, it's close. It is close. Completed out to Carter Lewis. And looks like going to be about a yard shy. Yep. Yep. Good eagle eye right there, buddy. So, oh, well, you got to punt that away. I agree. As much as I would like to <laughs> yeah. go for it, it's the right thing. It's early. You know, just it, uh, kick it and go. Don't take a chance. Nope, don't take a chance. Yep. Play clocked. Winding down pretty quick here. Sure is, down to eight. And it looks like we're going to go for it. Trips right, single receiver left. Hope they got something in their socks. The snap is busted up. Moss gets blown up off of it. And the Eagles fall on it, but it's going to be a turnover on downs, and Clay's going to have it inside the Eagle 20. That is not what we needed to happen right there, Shane. No, complete miscue from the word go. He never handled that snap. 
Uh, snap was right in his hands. It, I mean, it really was. Snap was perfect. And I'll tell you what, buddy, number 75 uh, for Clay County was right there because of that delay to put the smack right on Moss. That was uh, Garrett Taylor. 5'10", 275 pounder. He's just a little feller. Yeah, just a little guy. So here comes Collins. First play, it's a pitch. Going around to the right side. That young man's got a hole. He's going to string it out to the outside, and he's and going to take four. it in. Number 83, Josh Beard. Takes it 18 yards to the house. The first play from the scrimmage, line of scrimmage for the Panthers. Wildcat set, jet sweep action to the right side. And I do not believe he was even touched. No. Well, and just give credit where credit's due, good blocking downfield. Yep. Yeah, number 11, Benjamin William. Williams sealed that for him and untouched into the end zone. PAT attempt by Jackson Brown. Snaps back, holds good, kick is up, and it's right down the middle. 7 to nothing here at Clay County. We'll be back in a minute. See if the Eagles can respond here on the Boss 97 FM. Back in 60 seconds. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives. To facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Clear Mountain Bank is now open at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Our team is what makes the difference. Stop by the new branch office and talk to Phyllis, Abby, and Ben, and let us show you the community banking difference. Our full service branch provides extended hours through our video teller service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information, please stop by our new location at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Kick off to the Eagles, and it's going to go. It stops dead at the 9, picked up at the 10 by Markham. He's only, oh, don't leave your feet. But he does. Momentum has stopped, and I think he got to about the 16. It's. I'll tell you what, Mr. Brown's got a leg on him. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's putting a boot on the ball, buddy. And, and anybody that's kicked a football in conditions like this, that ball is hard it's as harder. a rock. It is. That, and to be able to get that. Like kicking a brick, it, it and I, I, it's one of those things you just almost have to do yourself. Yeah, to to really get the full effect of what that ball feels like when it's cold. Yep. All right, here we go. Four quick formation. Stoniker the lone setback lined up directly behind Moss. Snap back. He's looking to fire. Fires across the middle, in behind the receiver intended for Markham, and falls incomplete. It's going to be second down and ten. Eagles down 7 to nothing after an 18-yard run by Josh Beard. That, that wasn't a bad thrown ball. It was just behind. Just behind, just, yeah. Just late. It was even behind for the defender who was trailing behind. Correct, correct. Which could be a good thing at this point. <laughs> yeah. But we, we need to pick up some yards here on this second down play. Lewis and Markham line up to the right. You got Stout and Smaller to the left. Moss, oh, swing pass. It's slow, incomplete to Stout. He got the ball out of his hands quick, but it's got right at his feet. And it's yeah. got to be a power where he can do something with it. Exactly. It, that, the quickness is important. Yes. But so is the accuracy. Yep. Because you can't do nothing with it if you've got to bend down to get the ball to try and make the reception, you know, instead of just drilling him in the gut. Yeah, and Cody was about to get blown up, so it's really a good thing it was incomplete. Yes. Third and ten now for the Eagles. I always told him, of course, you remember. We tell them throw it at their face because yep. it's going to fall right into the numbers area. Yep. Just throw it at their face. All right, here we go. Four quick formation. Whistle's blowing. Do we have a timeout on the field? Yep. We do. The Eagles are going to burn their first timeout. That will leave them with two remaining. It's 7 to nothing here in the first quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds to see about the Eagles on this third and 10 here on the boss, 97. The new four-quarter calzone from Little Caesars is a four-meat pizza with a different meat in each calzone crust. It's perfect for... Movie night! 
picnic, sleepover, and NFL football games. Get the full quarter calzone for eight ninety nine. Pizza, pizza. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you spend the off season? Hmm. Picnic, sleepover, movie night, best off season ever. Just hit the weights. Try the new full quarter calzone. It's officially delicious. Pizza, pizza. Mid-stage Chevrolet. I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. Home of the stock em deep and sell em cheap boys. And proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics. All season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service. Home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Mid-stage Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County. MidStageChevy.com. And let's go Eagles. Moth looking downfield. He's running for his life now, and he's going to get sacked behind the line of scrimmage, and he's going to get brought down at the six-yard line. Seth Robinson in there to get that sack, put the pressure on and was able to seal the deal. That would be classified as a coverage sack right there. Nothing downfield for him to throw. Exactly, it, nothing. Had, had pretty good protection for three, four seconds, and then it just pocket collapsed. Well, that, that goes back to your high percentage pass plays. They're not long. Yeah, they are not. Ball stands about four yards deep in the end zone, set to punt the ball away. Snaps back, punts away, and it's shanked to the right, and it goes out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. And I don't know if that wasn't partially – did that maybe blocked? I, in all sincerity, I don't think, but we'll, maybe we can pick it up on the replay. I think it just came off his foot that Because that one defender for Clay County was <laughs> in the area. So the Panthers with excellent field position again. It's spotted just shy of the red zone. Yeah, he did get it away. But he had Micah Osborne in his face, and I'm sure he was watching. Here we go. Collins hands off to Beard again, trying the same play. And still on his feet, and he's going to be stopped about a yard shy of the stick. Check that. That's number 11, Benjamin Williams. And you're right. Same exact play. So second down and one. So we didn't let him score on that. That's good. We have got to have a big defensive stand here. This is going to start getting out of hand quick. Trips left. And the single receiver to the right. The lone setback is Aiden Brown. Collins barking out his command. Snaps back. Hand off to number seven. He's going to punch it up north-south. Still on his feet. In for the touchdown goes Aiden Brown. And just like that, the Panthers are up 13 to nothing. That didn't take long. Two plays on their second offensive series is better than one. Still I'm, not. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I'm just trying to find some positives, brother. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll go with it. Took him twice as long to score that time. <laughs> and here we go. Jackson Brown set to attempt the PAT. Kick is up, and it is good, and it's 14 nothing here in Clay County. We'll be back in a minute to see if the Eagles can muster up some offense here on the Boss 97 FM. Do you have a favorite Mexican dish? What could make that favorite Mexican dish even more special? By enjoying it with family and friends at El Gallo Mexican Restaurant in Flatwoods. We are located conveniently at exit 67 in the Flatwoods Center. Our authentic dishes are made with you in mind. We look forward to seeing you here with us. We're open daily at 11 a.m. At Glimple State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimple State University, you can become a pioneer. They started at R20. <laughs> Jackson Brown set the kickoff for the Panthers, and here we go. 
Oh, it's angling toward the sideline, eagle side of the field, and it goes out of bounds at about the 16, 17-yard line. So that can give the Eagles some good field position. It should, but I'll tell you what, buddy, he's he's moving that ball around well. Yes, he is. He. Yep. Chipping away on this right side, too. Trying to keep the ball out of Cody's hands, I think. Yeah, I would agree. Of course, we've seen some Markham. We've seen Markham yep. have some explosive he returns. Has, yeah, exactly. The, the important thing for us is to catch that thing cleanly. Yes, and on the run. On the run, correct. That way we're going the right direction from the square. From yep. the first square, we're ahead. Of course, Jackson's kicks are so low, not getting a lot of hang time. No. They're like loud and drives down the field. All right, here we are. Four quick formations. Stoniker, the lone setback. Snap back to Moss. He's looking to throw. Fires out in the flat. Caught, pulled in by number seven. That's good old Carter Lewis. Good and old he, pickup. Yeah. He's near. He's going to be about a yard shy, I think, of the stick for a nine-yard pickup. See, that was perfect. Just a little old hook. A little button hook. A very high percentage pass play. Yes. And moved us down the field very well. In fact, we are inches away. About two foot away from first down. So second down and one. Very manageable. Twins right and left. Snap back to Moss. Hand off Stoniker. Trying to find that one. And he is going to lose three. Mm. Nowhere to run right there, buddy. That wall right there collapsed on that left side. Nowhere to go. They give him forward progress. So it's only a loss of two. So you're still looking at third and three, third and two and a half. We've got to have a seam here. Yeah, we need a uh, little, little something special here, something than what, different than what we've been doing. And, and I don't know that we can run at these tackles for Clay. Too bad we couldn't go on two if we were conditioned. You know. There you go. I, I actually like it. Yep. All right, here we go. Trips right, single receiver left. What we, we did it, did. <laughs> oh, oh, oh baby, we it, just buddy. went on two. Oh, they're calling false start against us. Uh, no way. Uh, okay. He gave the wrong signal. The line judge up here. Okay. Gave the false start signal, but then he changed it to offsides. Way to go, Eagles. That is such a valuable tool to be able to do. And it's really just mental practice. Yep. First down for the Eagles. Trips right, single receiver to the left. Snap comes back to Moss. Pitch to Stoniker. He's got some blocking. That's oh, that's Deal. Deal, Deal up right. there. All right. Deal picks up a couple. Steven Deal going to give us a second down and eight. That's right at midfield. He found that seam, cut it north-south, and got what he could get. Well, they're, they are just substantially bigger than us in the middle. Yes. And so it may be that we need to run to the edges, you know, with a uh, – I, and I, I don't know exactly which how I would block it until I looked a little deeper at who's on who, but we're going to have to get some angles. Yeah. Four quick formation. Moss in the shotgun. Snaps back. He fires into the flat. And it uh, – is it complete? It is completed. And it's going to be a gain of about three. Going to give us third down and five. I wasn't sure. He did. Yeah, nice cradle great. job, yeah. Hurt. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. So third down and five for your Eagles. Need to reach the 43 for a first down. See what we got in store here. Twins right, twins to the left. Deal, the lone setback lines up behind Moss in the shotgun. Pressure coming by Clay. Moss drops, fires, caught. Oh, he's got it. He's got a first down, 40, 35, out of bounds, inside the 35. They're going to mark him out at the 33-yard line. Oh, make it to 32. He keeps walking forward. Good job, Carter Lewis. Way to go, Eagles. Made me nervous for a split second when he took that step back. Yep. But I, I almost think it was he just didn't get his feet set. I think you're right. Well, his stance was so wide, then he couldn't push off to go forward. Nor right. All right, here we go. Trips right, single receiver to the left now. 
Still got Deal back as a lone setback. Moss, handoff Deal up the middle he goes. Lowers it up ahead. Nice he's job. He's still going hard. Nice job, Mr. Deal. He's got a nice gain on first down right there. Near the stick. That was that was just hard nose running right there. Yeah. Initial contact got him stalled. He got squared back up. Kept it, it north and south. And listen, that initial hit, he made somebody pay right yeah. there. Looks like a second down and uh, let's say two. Maybe one. Hard to tell from this angle. All right, here we go. Hand off deal again. Cuts it back inside. Sticks his nose down. It's still churning and burning. They pull him ahead. Got oh, a first like down. It. Good effort. Good running by deal. First down for the Eagles. Play was signaling they had the ball. Mm -hmm. No signal from the officials. Oh. oh, the ball did pop loose. Did not see that. They didn't either. Neither did anybody, but the Eagles finally saw it in the Panther. So the Eagles still have it in the red zone for the first time tonight. Down at the 19. Don't get fancy, guys. Keep doing what you've been doing. Well, and, and, and you saw him get stood up. And when you're up high like that, it's tough to protect the football. Yep. All right, here we go. Trips to the left side now. Single receiver out wide to the right. Deal the lone setback. Moss takes a shot in the end zone. Got a receiver. Caught touchdown, Eagles. Nice job. Connected with Markham, I believe. Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, there it is, seven finally. Carter Lewis. Touchdown, Eagles. From 19 yards out, and the Eagles are on the board. I tell you what, that was the best pass I think I've seen from Moss. I mean, put it right it, where. it was. He was the only one who had a shot at yeah. it. Yeah. Nice job, guys. Nice drive. Now, let's get get the uh, the kick, get some points. Let's Old Frenchie going to attempt the PAT. Make her seven. Let's do it. Sounds like a great plan. Send it down. Snap back. It rolls. We got whistles. Officials got a flag on the play. I believe it was a offsides on the defense. Hmm. Half the distance. So Frenchie gets to move it ahead a little farther. They going for it? Oh. I think we're going to go for two. Hmm. Interesting. I believe I went ahead and kicked the field goal. It's uh sometimes it's tough to get a yard and a half. It sometimes it's <laughs> yes it is. But let's see uh let's I I say uh let's root for him. Let's go guys. Let's do it. Trips left. It. Single receiver to the right. Moss, hand off the deal. Gets hit at the five, goes to the four. That's it. It's hard to get anything in that middle. But, yeah. hey, we're on the board. 14-6. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Eagles kick off to the Panthers here on the Boss 97 FM. Dr. Chad Lancaster, DDS, offers comprehensive quality care for the entire family. The practice handles all levels of dental work from a basic cleaning or root canal to implants or referrals to other specialists. With a convenient location in Gasaway and a friendly staff awaiting your arrival, they can help you maintain a happy and healthy smile. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Lancaster's dental office by calling 304-364-8565. Whether you're feeding cattle, milking cows, or baling hay, the work on your farm is never done, which is why you need equipment that works as hard as you do. From farm all compact and utility tractors to balers and mowers, Case IH equipment gives you the efficiency and the versatility you need to get things done. To learn more, visit caseih.com slash livestock. Eagles are on the board, 14-6 to six here in the first. 2.28 remains, and the Eagles set to kick off to the Panthers. And Frenchie's got the ball set. He's ready to flop her down the field, Shane. I'm ready, buddy. As am I. A defensive stand. We need one. Yes. 
Panthers have ran three offensive plays and scored on two of them. Trying the onside kick. And goes out of bounds. Whew. And the Panthers are going to have great field position again. Not quite as good as they've had. Yeah, not to the extent, but I sure like to have seen that a little deeper. Didn't even travel 10. Or, oh, it, it did. Just did. Yep. But it, just, it traveled 10 fast. I'm a big fan of those little chip shots over the front line into that little pocket Look, typically in that corner. It takes a little bit for the ball to get to land. That's that's the beauty of, of that chip shot, you know, is it gives the defense time to get down there and make that play or the coverage team. Yep. Panthers starting from their own 49. Four quick formation. Twin receivers stacked on each side. Collins is looking downfield. He's taking a shot, and he fires a bomb down the field. It's caught pulled in by the receiver inside the 20, marking down at the 17. Caught by number 11, Benjamin Williams. Well, that shortened the field pretty quick, like. Yes, it did. You had Carter Lewis in on the coverage, and the coverage was pretty good, but Carter was falling down about the time the ball got there. Yeah, he wasn't able to make any type of play on that ball. No. Collins sends out four quick. Twins right, twins left. Snap comes back. He's looking to fire. He got time. Now he's running to his right, running for his life. Fires into the middle, caught. And taken down quickly by number 51, Trevor Edgerton. But B.J. Williams picks up about eight on that reception. It's going to be second down and two for the Panthers. Ball spotted inside the 10, mark at the nine-yard line. Come on, D. Need to stop here, guys. Trips to the left, single receiver to the right. Collins rolls to the left. He's looking, looking into the end zone. He's got pressure, and he's going to go down at the 16-yard line. Eagles are fired up, and it's Eagle ball. It's a wow. turnover, and they're saying Eagle ball. <clears throat> All right. I, it took so long to make that call. Yeah, just, and it did it, pop out. There it was. popped out. And the Eagles did indeed. Absolutely. Great job, Eagles. Collins had that ball out there like a loaf of bread going to the grocery store. Now, we need us a long drive. We need a long one. They're starting from their own 17-yard line. The last drive started from the 35. I like it. Tack on 18 more. It's another score. Exactly. It's a good plan. Send it down, Shane. Check. Uh, Roger, Roger. <laughs> Roger Wilco. <laughs> Got it. Good good drone footage right We're not there. going to get this playoff. Play clock's down to three, two. Hope somebody's watching that clock. And the Eagles coach D, coach D is. He took a timeout. Taking too long out of the huddle, guys. We're going to take a break with him. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on The Boss 97. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com slash WV to find out more. How easy is it to purchase your new camper at Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? Our knowledgeable staff can show you over 150 new and pre-owned RVs on site. Our team will ensure that all stress is removed from the buying process as you become a part of the Mountaineer RV family. How easy is it to use your new camper for Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? Pick a spot, unwind, and start making memories. Come check out your adventure headquarters, Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center. Moss taking a shot down the field. He got a receiver. Pulled in. Caught by number three. Big old Brody Smar. Got a first down and moves the chains way on down the field, Shane. Hey, that pump fake. Got it. Froze him. Yep. The pump fake, and then he then he turned it loose. Had he had the ball, he had to come back for it. Yep. He would have picked up quite a bit more yardage. He'd have been midfield at least. At farther. least, yep. Yep. But, hey. We'll take it. That's a great. Oh, that's a big pickup. 
getting us out of the hole. Out to the 41, just across the 40, about the 41. Here we go. Trips left, single receiver to the right. Pitch to Deal. Oh, Deal's running into a wall, trying to get the outside, and the Panthers shut that down quickly. No doing there. Yep. No, that was uh, just, we're just not that fast to the sideline. No. Well, we didn't secure our blocks long enough. You know, you can't make contact and then release. You've got to, you got to no. swivel those hips and maintain that block. Them guys don't quit on the other side of the ball no. just because you you just touched them. <laughs> yeah. We call that the old lookout block. Yeah. Look when, out, he's coming. Yep. Because he's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Eagles lost five on that, and that's the end of the first quarter. Fourteen to six. Eagles have the ball, but they do have a little adversity. Second down and fifteen when we come back here on the boss ninety-seven. Back in sixty seconds. Stand for a minute. I thought about doing that with you. Is a proud sponsor of Braxton County Sports. She supports all our youth and wishes everyone much success throughout the year in sports and academics. Always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Cherish the memories you make throughout your school years. Evelyn Post is a proud supporter of our Braxton County youth. Let's go Eagles! Family Furniture Center in Gasway has living room suites, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattress sets, desks, tables, chairs. They have it all. Free delivery, free setup, and financing available. Are you needing home improvement items? Stop by Rex Road Supply Company for your treated lumber, flooring, paint, tools, and so much more. Family Furniture Center and Rex Road Supply. State Street, across from the Braxton County Armory in Gassaway. A proud supporter of Braxton County High School Sports. It is truck month at Mark LaRose Ford in Gassaway. Now through the 31st, they have slashed prices on all new F-150s in stock to just $62 under invoice to save you thousands on your next ride. Like a 2023 Super Crew starting at just $48,962. Plus, take advantage of rates as low as 3.9%. Shop all of these deals online at MarkLaRoseFord.com or visit today. Just 62 seconds off exit 62 in Gassaway. It is Mark LaRose Ford. Snap comes back to Moss, hand off the deal. He gets hit in the backfield, could not maintain that block. Carl Boyce just could not stay in front of that lad, and he's going to get deal in the backfield for a loss. Loss of four. Here's the reality. You've still got to run that play. Yes. You cannot go away from it. Even if it doesn't work. Even if it doesn't work. That's exactly right because it freezes those linebackers when you do run that crossing route that Brody just ran, yep, they're still they still have to honor the run first. Run Absolutely. first, pass second. That's right. Well stated. Twins right, twins left. Actually, tr trips left. Moss is looking. He's in trouble. You got to run now, bub. And he's running, still on his life, running for his life. Cross the line of scrimmage, stick, and he picks up about seven before he's pushed out of bounds on the Panther sideline. Would give us about a third down. Uh, he ran out at the original line of scrimmage. So it's going to be third down and 10. I thought he got a couple yards across. I was going to say, I thought he did too, but there were, it was uh, clogged up over there. You couldn't tell. Big third down here for the Eagles. Ball lays on the 50-yard line. I'd say far side hash, but both of them are far side to us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> there, everything's a long ways away. Yes, it is. Damon sends out a trio of receivers to the right and a single receiver. Brody Smart to the left. Snap back. Moss is looking, takes a shot, looking for Brody. Oh, and it is close to incomplete. Tangled his feet up. Brody would have liked to have had it, and he's calling for it, and he's not getting it. And now we're going to have a sideline warning. On the coaching staff. So they got a flag, but it wasn't the one they wanted. No, no, they they didn't get the flag they wanted. No. Here's the call. On sportsmanlike conduct, 
Dead ball against the Eagles. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty, and we're going to have to punt the ball away now. Daggone it. It's going to be a fourth and 10, and now a fourth and 25. But the bottom line is this. You can plead your case all you want. The official, if he didn't throw it at the initial. He's not going to He's not going to pull it out and throw it. Yeah, he's not going to say, hey, you know what, you're right, right and go ahead and throw the flag. It's Correct. not going to happen. So we, now, Eagles going to have to punt the ball away. We need to get a boom off right here. Yes, we do. And keep it out of BJ's hands. And it's a low shank. Hopefully it takes an eagle bounce. It does across the 40. 35, 30 picked up by the Panthers, and here they come. And Williams has it to the 35, and that is it. That's all he gets. So the well, Panthers will take over from their own 35-yard line. We need a stop. Need a big stop. It's not out of out of reach yet. 14 to 6. Eagles trail. Now, the important thing right now is just to, to keep doing what they're doing, you know, and, and take advantage of every miscue that Clay makes. Absolutely. Well said. Triple receivers to the right, single receiver left. Aiden Brown, the lone setback, lines up to the left of Collins. Snap comes back. Collins wants to fire. He's running for his life. He's out in an open space now up the right side. Down the sideline and out of bounds he goes. He's got the 48, and that's a first down for the Panthers. Well, that's the one thing that he's been able to do pretty well when he does get flush. He's able to pick up some yards. Yep. He's, he's a pretty good runner. So you had some good things in that with him having to flush out. That means we had pretty good coverage. Yep. But we've still got to keep him contained with the guys we have remaining in the box. Correct. Correct. Outside in. You always attack from the outside in. And we did not do that. We, no. we went right to the inside. Trips left, single receiver right. Collins swing passes out to Brown. It's a little jet screen here, and he's loose into the open field. Still on his feet down to Clay's sideline. And he's got a host of Eagles to get at going, and he is close to the stick. He's down to the one great time of day. Whew. I was looking everywhere to see if they threw up hands, but I never did see it. So I think you're right. It is way down there. First and goal. And that was from the 48-yard line. Looks like we had a missed block in the back yeah, there. Yeah, that was perfectly in the black. And there was, was another. another one. Just based on what we've seen. I'm not the official, not making the call. But it looked like there were a couple opportunities to throw a flag. All right, here we go. Handoff, number seven. Nope, I'm sorry. Collins is rolling with it. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown. As he connects with B.J. Williams. That was a great fake. It really was. I couldn't see what was going on just watching from this far down the field. B.J. just rolled just a little drag route across out of the backfield. Started out in that slot position. By the time we picked him up, we had about yep. three yep. three yards behind him. Too late. P -T P -A -T attempt by Brown. Snap comes back. Holds good. Kick is up. And it is through the uprights. 21-6 to six here in Clay County. Don't go anywhere. The Eagles get the ball back when we return here on the Boss 97. I think if you're looking for a job in health care, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. If RPMs raise your BPMs, if the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. That card, don't you? 
Kickoff to the Eagles. Man, he laid the wood to it there. Caught cleanly at about the 12. Here comes. Is that Cody Stout? I think it is. I think it is. He's got, oh, he hit a seam and brought down hard at about the 34-yard line. When his progress stopped, he was like, Ring. It stopped right now. Sure did. But good little pickup right there. He got north and south quick. And if he would got away from that hand, he'd have had more to get. Yeah. There would, it would, I'm not saying he scored, but he'd have picked up a solid 10 or 15 yards yeah. quickly. All right, here we go. Moss gathers the troops. 21-6 to six here in the second quarter. He's going to send out two receivers right and left. Stoniker, the lone setback. Snap comes back. Play action. Moss is looking. He's in trouble. Running to his right. He is going backwards, and he's going the wrong uh, direction. And that's going to be a huge loss on first down. Yeah, I don't know how far that is, but it's like, golly. Back inside the 15, where are they going to mark him at? That's, what is it, 16, 17 yards? Uh, it's... It's farther than the deep end of that pool down yonder. Ball spotted at the 16-yard line. Ouch. So, we're looking at a second down and forever. You don't need to pick it all up at once, though. Exactly. That's a very, very good point. you got to have some guys at 5 yards, 10 yards, 15, whatever. You, you want to have a, an array of routes. Whistles blowing. Play clock's at zero. Did the Eagles get? Yep. Called a timeout. All right. They had, and final. had to use another timeout to save the delay of games. So we're going to take a break with them. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Eagles down 21-6. You're on the boss. Clear Mountain Bank is now open at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Our team is what makes the difference. Stop by the new branch office and talk to Phyllis, Abby, and Ben, and let us show you the community banking difference. Our full service branch provides extended hours through our video teller service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information, please stop by our new location at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. The new four-quarter calzone from Little Caesars is a four-meat pizza with a different meat in each calzone crust. It's perfect for movie, movie night, night, picnic, sleepover, and NFL football game. Get the full quarter calzone for eight ninety nine. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, yeah. How'd you spend the off season? Hmm. Picnic, sleepover, movie night, best off season ever. Just hit the weights. Try the new full quarter calzone. It's officially delicious. Pizza, pizza. All right, coming out of the timeout, the Eagles go for a pass, and it falls incomplete. It's going to be third down. And forever from the 16-yard line. So that timeout did not help us in the least. Well, and it, it was only taken to, pres to preserve a five-yard loss. Right. But still, I'd like to think we could have come up with a little something out of the timeout to give us an opportunity to pick up some positive yards. Not all of it, but, uh, you know, something solid uh, to pick up 10, 12 Something. Yeah, because now you're just kind of playing for punting yardage. Here we go. Twins right and left. Moss running for his life. Nice block by Stoniker. Moss takes a shot down the field. It is batted down. Oh. And we've got a flag. Is that going to be offensive pass interference? That's what I want to see. It's a replay here. He took a shot down towards the middle of the field. Maybe. And then pass interference goes against the Panthers, I believe. 15-yard penalty. Yep, 15-yard penalty. <clears throat> so we're going to replay that third down. So that's going to give us some of the yardage back off that unsportsmanlike. Going to take the ball out to the 31. But it's still... Fourth, or third down now in about 12. 
So we still get an opportunity. I'd like to reach midfield. Need to reach the, let's say about the 43 for a first down. Make it uh, comfortably. Comfortably, exactly. Four quick formation. Now it comes back. Swing pass, pump fake. Moss is in trouble. And he is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, so. that offensive line has got to slow those guys down. Yeah. What what you saw was a wall of white, but the problem was the blue was already behind it. Or exactly. In, in tonight's case, the black. Well, they're well, standing us. Those guys, they're not doing – it looks like to me they're just bull rushing. Yep. And they're they blowing are. our guys back into the play and then shucking – right or left where the ball carrier is at. So Moss is set to punt the ball away. Gets it off. And it lands, goes out of bounds at about the 48-yard line. And I'd really like to see Damon back up another five yards or so to get, so he can get off a good punt. He's, he's only yeah. about seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. It would, it would give him just a hair more time. Yes, <clears throat> because he's short-legging that punt, and we're not getting any distance. Right, and, and we've seen him hit some dandies. Yep. But it, like you said, he's rushing it just to try and hurry and get it off, but simply backing up two or three yards would give him probably enough room to get that punt off. Yep. Wildcat formation for Noah Collins. Jet sweep action. And it's a handoff to that tailback. He's trying to get, that's B.J. Williams trying to get the left side. He's just going to go out of bounds ahead of the stick. He's got a first down for the Panthers. Needed 10, got 11. Too much. And on touch to getting there. I'd like to uh, see us go in at halftime, you know, at least this, and, and maybe even get the ball back here on a three and out and try right. and march down and get it a little closer. Load setback is Brown. Trips right, single receiver to the left. Eagles trail 21-6. Snap comes back. It's a high snap for Collins, but he's got it. Fires out into the right flat, the Eagle sideline. That ev receiver evades the first tackle, but he's not going to make it through the others. But he's out to the 34-yard line. we got a late flag coming in. Really late off the backside official. Hmm. See what this flag is. I don't know. Looks like it might be against the Panthers. Waiting for the call from the White Hat official. We got dead ball. Personal foul against the Panthers. Wow. I missed that. I did too. But I'm thankful for the yardage going backwards. 15-yard penalty from the end of the play. Negates that... Nice gain. Uh, you know what? That's tough. We the, Here again, this is one of those things we need to take advantage of. It's going to be first down and about 19 to go. They spot the ball at the 49. All right, here we go. Twins right, twins left. Oh, wait a second. We got a official coming in here. Talking to the white hat. Hmm. I don't know what kind of mess we got. But the only thing I like is they're trying to make sure they get it right. I appreciate that. Very much so. All right. Second down. The, second down. The down marker was incorrect. So it's second down and 19. All right, here we go. Four quick formation. Brown, the lone setback. Lines up to the left of Collins. Collins is looking. He's taking a shot down the field. And it is going to be picked Take off by the Eagles. And that is number seven. Carter Lewis comes up with a big interception. There wasn't nobody down there. I don't know if there was a miscue, but he had the best shot at it. Yeah, he had the inside. I don't think Noah got it to the outside far enough. And just... The intended receiver, I think, was was uh, Brown out of the backfield. Yeah. Just a wheel route, but it's uh, eagle ball. 
It looks like they've got it at the 10 yard line. So we have got some carpet to cover, Shane. Hey, nothing like making a long drive, chew up the rest of this six minute and nine seconds. Yeah, that's right. Twins right, twins left. Deal the loom setback back in and the backfield. Moss, handoff, deal. He's got a hole up the right side and he gets nice tripped job. up, but he got about five yards on first down. I like it. Get us a little bit of get us get us away from that goal line a little bit. I think officially about a four yard pickup, so it's gonna be second down and six. Maybe five. Nice first down carry. Nice hole by the right side of the line. Let's do it again. Absolutely. Let's go, Eagles. Eagles trail. 21-6 here, 5.32 and a rolling clock in the second quarter. Two and a half quarters remaining in this season. Twins right, twins left. Moss takes a snap, handoff deal again. Cuts it back into the middle. Trying Ball to came loose. It was on the ground. On was, the ground, okay. Yeah. We are taking too long to get these plays in. Wait, here's the thing. When, when the defense They're, sees a play clock timing out, you're going across as soon as you're going to time it. So when zero hits, you're across the line. Yep. That run by deal was enough for a first down. It keeps this drive alive. Well, we got away with one right there because they were pinning their ears back. Yes. Well, fortunately for us, most of them were in the backfield. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being serious. Yeah. But, and that's why I say, because they waited till the clock. Yep. They timed it and, uh, we got a lot of carpet to cover, and we're running out of time, and we have no timeouts remaining. Clay has all three. Twins right and left. Moss takes a snap. Across the middle. Batted down. Going to be second down and 10. Intended for Mr. Markham. Elijah Markham, the intended receiver. Now, that does stop the clock at exactly. 331. Yep. Which I would look to run some either out routes or something so that uh, we, if we do get tackled, you know what I mean, we got an opportunity to try and get it, you know, out of bounds before. Well, so we we've seen a couple of button hooks that work really well mm -hmm. out in space. Our guy stopped, fired out there, pick up first down, move the chains, keep this going thing going. Trips right, hand off the deal. He's in trouble, trying to get to the edge. He's going to get about five, maybe six, but the clock is tick, 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 ticking away. They're going to spot him down at about the 26-yard line. So we're looking at about a third and four. I see him got that ball on the other side, too. Well, he don't switch much. He's, he's a pretty straightforward runner. He did. Yeah. <laughs> he's a grab-it-and-go kind of guy. So it's third and five after we see the official spot. Folks, again, our angle is not the best, and so we're trying the best we can. Twins right and to the left. Snap comes back. Swing pass into the flat. Whew. Incomplete. Double Fourth coverage. and five, yeah. And short of the stick. Our, our receiver was only two yards across the line of scrimmage. Yep, yep. Got to know where those down markers. You got to know where those sticks are. All right. Are we punting? Well, I'm not real sure. Play clock's down to 20. And it's just a, yeah, it looks like we're coming into punt formation. Eagles trail 21 to 6 here. I truly hope we, hope we don't go for a fake. Moss is backed up a lot better now. I like it. Gets off a little bit better punt, but it's angling towards the Eagles sideline that goes out of bounds. Now we got to see where they spot it. Looks like about the 30. They're about the 50-yard lines where they spot it out. All right, 244 to keep them out of the end zone. So not a long punt by any stretch of the means. And we know they can cover carpet Oh, quickly. Yeah, they, their team speed's really good. All right, here we go. Trips left, single receiver right. Brown, the lone setback. Collins takes the snap. He's looking. Across the middle. Pass complete. Officials in the way. 
45-40. He got still to feet. He's grabbed another gear, and he gets shoved out of bounds near the 20. They're going to mark him out at the 21-yard line. So it's second down and one. Trips left, single receiver right. Collins takes a snap. Swing pass out to Brown. Brown, he's got the first down still on his feet, and he's in for the Panther touchdown. Man, that was too easy. What was it? Four plays? Yep. Too easy. Untouched. Hey, going it. 27 to 6 now. Jackson Brown trying to make it 28. 145 remains in this first half. Eagles developing a uh, a bad habit of getting behind. Yes. In this first half, we we seem to do that to ourselves. That back kick is up, and it is right, squarely down the middle. Twenty-eight to six. Got one forty-five to work at work with. No timeouts remaining. We can do her, but we got to have some good clock management here. Uh, period. We'll be back in sixty seconds here on the Boss ninety-seven. We've gone through a lot of changes this past year. However, one thing that hasn't changed is the campground. It will always be our escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. A way to get fresh air and create everlasting memories with your family. The campground has always been a place we call home and nothing can change that. Come experience the Mountaineer RV difference and join our family today. But it's just two degrees. Ah, two degrees is a lot of money. But I'm sweaty. We have a car payment to make. Don't beat yourself up over energy costs. Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you efficient individual room control with no duct work. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Go to MitsubishiComfort.com. It is not halftime yet. We're about a buck 36 away from it. Stout returns the ball out across the 35 to the 37. So the Eagles have pretty nice field position, but we have limited time and no timeouts to work with. Very limited time. Things are going to gonna have to be quick, out routes, get out of bounds. Yes. Whatever. You really can't run the ball at this point. No. So. Not at all. And quick, very quick. Trips left, single receiver to the right. Snap handoff to Balls loose. Stoniker lost it. And Clay County says they have it. What's the – Stoniker oh. came up with it, I think. Okay. Clay County calls a timeout. I never saw a mark from an official. I'm assuming the Eagles have. We're going to take a break with them. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on the Balls. Mid-State Chevrolet, I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods, home of the stock them deep and sell them cheap boys, and proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics, all season long, flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service, home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty, Mid-State Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County, MidStateChevy.com, and let's go Eagles! have a favorite Mexican dish? What could make that favorite Mexican dish even more special? By enjoying it with family and friends at El Gallo Mexican Restaurant in Flatwoods. We are located conveniently at exit 67 in the Flatwoods Center. Our authentic dishes are made with you in mind. We look forward to seeing you here with us. We're open daily at 11 a.m. Snap comes back to Moss. Moss is running for his life. And it is a sack for the Panthers. Damon, nowhere to go, nowhere to throw, except down. And he's down way deep. We're looking at a third and country mile. And the Panthers are going to take another break. 
They they uh we'll just gonna keep try, it right here. They're gonna try and get that ball back. Yep, they're scoring again. And score again before half. Yes, they are. Because they know we can't stop it. It's twenty eight to six. We're down twenty two points. And we can't do a thing about it. Not a thing right now. We've oh. used all three timeouts. Two of those were to prevent delay games. Which is a little frustrating. Yes. But we've got to do something here as far as we got to get a first down so we can chew this clock up and not give it back. Ball's on the 28. we got to reach about the 49-yard line for a first down. 47. All right, here we go. Trips right, single receiver left. Snap comes back. Moss takes a shot downfield and over to, overthrows his intended receiver, Cody Stout. So now it's fourth down and a country mile, and the Eagles are going to have to punt the ball away. Well, and they don't have to burn us time out either because of the incomplete pass. Yep. So they're going to go into – they're going to get the ball back and still have a timeout. Yeah. So the Eagles sending out the punting, punting unit. They're waiting for guys to get situated out there. I don't, I don't know if we have – yeah, I, don't, I was going to say, I don't think we have enough. Play clocks. No, we. I don't think we do. Now we do. All right, play clock down to one. And we got a flag. What's the call? Got to be a delay game. And that's what it is. That's backing us up five more, which is giving up yardage to the Panthers. Wrong direction. Discombobulated. Now we got more whistles. White hats. He's just wandering around. You want more time on the clock? Yep. 111 instead of 109. Okay. All right, here we go. Punting unit out for the Eagles. And the official blows there the whistle. We here we go. Let's get her crank. Get her cranking. Snaps back. Moss gets off a better punt. And it goes out on the Panther sideline at about the 49 yard line. All right. So 51 yards. The Panthers are looking at with a buck five remaining, and they've got one timeout remaining. So let's see if the defense can stop them down 22 points, 28 to 6. I'd like to think we can, yes. but I'm a little nervous. With that big play that they can continue to pull on us, Yep, I'm a little nervous. I agree with you. Well, let's see if we can got it. We've got Trips right, single receiver to the left. Aiden Brown, the lone setback, lines up to the right. It's a swing pass out to B.J. Williams. And he gets shoved out of bounds, and he may have got a yard, so that's not bad. Nope, good defense. Strung him out, utilized that 12th man. Didn't uh, didn't chew much clock, but didn't score either. Good point. Second down and nine for the Panthers. Four quick. Twins right and twins to the left. Fifty-eight seconds remains in this first half. Snap comes back. Collins is looking. We can pass out to the side. It is incomplete. Just too high. Yeah. Intended for Aiden Brown. He did have a step ladder to get that one. I'm telling you, buddy. And he went up after it, and he still wasn't able to get up there. So third down and nine now for the Panthers. But incomplete pass stops, stops the, the clock. clock. All right. Two receivers right and left.
Now it comes back to Collins. He's looking downfield. He's running oh, for his life. He got him from behind, and he's going down to the 40-yard line. Who got him? Was that? I believe that's Deal? Steven Deal. Steven that's... Deal brought him down to the 41. Well, I'm telling you, it was really close to a horse collar, too. Yes, it was. <laughs> and the white hat was right there, though. Yep. He must have had enough jersey, you know what I mean, it looked like. Yep. Um, thank goodness. So that'll bring it Had up, him by right? the outside shoulders, what he grabbed. Okay. The fourth down, and let's call it about 18 for the Panthers. And they are going to go for it. Twin receivers to the right and to the left. They are an explosive offense. Snap comes back. Collins says time. Takes a shot down the field. The clock expired. Batted down by the Eagles. Outstanding. And that is the half. 28-6, to six, your Eagles trail at the half. And Clay County will get the ball back when we return. Don't go anywhere. The Mid-State Chevrolet Halftime Show coming up right here at your home for the Eagles, the Boss, 97 FM. The new four-quarter calzone from Little Caesars is a four-meat pizza with a different meat in each calzone crust. It's perfect for movie night, picnic, sleepover, and NFL football games. Get the four-quarter calzone for eight ninety-nine. dollars Pizza, pizza. Yeah, yeah. I'll just spend the off-season. Hmm. Just hit the weights. Try the new four quarter calzone. It's officially delicious. Pizza, pizza. Dr. Chad Lancaster DDS offers comprehensive quality care for the entire family. The practice handles all levels of dental work from a basic cleaning or root canal to implants or referrals to other specialists. With a convenient location in Gasaway and a friendly staff awaiting your arrival, they can help you maintain a happy and healthy smile. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Lancaster's dental office by calling 304-364-8565. Do you have a favorite Mexican dish? What could make that favorite Mexican dish even more special? By enjoying it with family and friends at El Gallo Mexican Restaurant in Flatwoods. We are located conveniently at exit 67 in the Flatwoods Center. Our authentic dishes are made with you in mind. We look forward to seeing you here with us. We're open daily at 11 a.m. At Wimble State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimple State University, you can become a pioneer. Mid-State Chevrolet. I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. Home of the Stockham Deep and Selham Cheap Boys. And proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics. All season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service. Home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Mid-State Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County. MidStateChevy.com. And let's go Eagles.
Fountain Bank is now open at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Our team is what makes the difference. Stop by the new branch office and talk to Phyllis, Abby, and Ben, and let us show you the community banking difference. Our full service branch provides extended hours through our video teller service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information, please stop by our new location at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. The new four-quarter calzone from Little Caesars is a four-meat pizza with a different meat in each calzone crust. It's perfect for... Movie night! Picnic! picnic sleepover! And NFL football games! Get the four-quarter calzone for $8.99. Pizza, pizza. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you spend the off-season? Hmm. Picnic sleepover! Movie night! Best off-season ever! Just hit the weights. Try the new four-quarter calzone. It's officially delicious. Pizza, pizza. Whether you're feeding cattle, milking cows, or baling hay, the work on your farm is never done, which is why you need equipment that works as hard as you do. From Farmall Compact and Utility Tractors to balers and mowers, Case IH Equipment gives you the efficiency and the versatility you need to get things done. To learn more, visit caseih.com slash livestock. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com WV to find out more. If RPMs raise your BPMs. If the open road is an open invitation. Then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care. Here to keep you firing on all cylinders. But it's just two degrees. Ah, two degrees is a lot of money! Oh. 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 But I'm sweaty. We have a car payment to make! Oh. Don't beat yourself up over energy costs. Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you efficient individual room control with no duct work. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Go to MitsubishiComfort.com. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives. To facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Mid-Stage Chevrolet. I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. Home of the stock em deep and sell em cheap boys. And proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics. All season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service. Home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Mid-Stage Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County. MidStageChevy.com. And let's go Eagles. Virginia on to Tripway University and Oak Hill tied up 27 to 27. That's a ball game. That is a ball game. In the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter. Half time for Cabell Middle and the Riverside, 42 to nothing there. Huntington on top of Hurricane, 21 to 6, 35 to nothing. Jefferson leads Washington. Princeton on top of Parkersburg South, 27 13. Spring Mills leads Hedgesville, 27 to 6. And Morgantown trails 10 to 7 against the Lindsley Cadets. Philip Barber trails Preston at the half. Wow. Ooh. The Knights at 2 and 7. The Colts at 7 and 2. Got a ball game there for sure. Willing Park leads John Marshall 31 to nothing. Spring Valley on top of St. Albans 34 to nothing. The Metro News Class AAA Game of the Week. George Washington. No trouble with Woodrow Wilson 42 to nothing at the half. Parkersburg and Musselman going at it. Parkersburg on top. The Appleman at four and five. It's been a long time since we've seen the Musselman yep. team 
with a schedule or a, a record like that. Yep. They trail 41-3. Greenbrier East on top of Lincoln County 28 to 7. And Capitol leads South Charleston 36-15. Hey, something of note there. Scroll back up on I'm that AAA to, game. Yes, sir. Lincoln County is down 28-7 and a half to yep. Greenbrier East. Yep. That has importance for Clay County. It does. It does for sure. All right, on to Dubway. You want Dubway? Sure. Can sure. you see him? Uh, it'll be close. Can you reach him? It, it's just, no. No. <laughs> you know, uh, so I'm scrolling for you. All right. Point Pleasant and Winfield. Good ball game right there. National Gridiron Series game. Uh, Winfield's up 21 10. That's a couple of, uh, bat a battle of some ranked teams there. Yeah. Uh, North Marion, no problem with Liberty Harrison, 49 7. Nitro and Scott, another good ball game right there, 28-18. And that's an unranked Nitro team on top of number two, Scott. Correct. So that's uh, it's that's a third quarter. Yep, third quarter. So should be interesting to see if uh, Scott can pull it together there and make something happen. Roan County, uh, I won't say no trouble, but uh, get, getting stuff done against Oak Glen, 27-14. Uh, here's a game we were kind of interested to see. Fairmont Senior, no trouble at all with East Fairmont at this point. They're up 28 nothing in the third. Mount View uh, and Mingo got no score. Chapmanville and Mann. Chapmanville leads that one 19 nothing. Bridgeport and having no trouble with Lincoln, 49-14. Uh, Hoover, same thing with Logan. No trouble whatsoever, 64-20. to uh, Lewis County, 49, Grafton, 8. Frankfurt 14, Kaiser 14. That's That was picked as the double-A game of the week. and uh, They picked a dandy. They absolutely did. That is in the fourth quarter, according to this. So definitely a good game. Nicholas County uh, getting by Pikeview, 28 to nothing. Robert C. Bird over Elkins, 30 to 7. Another game of importance. Yes. Wayne, 46, Polka, nothing. Wayne knocking on the doors. Wayne is uh, wanting to jump Clay County in these rankings and yep. get into the playoffs. Sissonville and uh, Westside no score, and Liberty Raleigh, Wyoming East no score. Now on to single A, no score with the Riverview Tulsa game. Gilmer County leads South Harrison 22 to 20 in the fourth quarter. Oh, that's a ball game. That is a ball game. Looking on down at ones we have scores for. Payton City leads Valley Wetzel 30 to 12. Montcalm leads Bland County, Virginia 33 to nothing. A lot of games, no scores indicated in single way. Midland Trail leads Pocahontas County 33 to nothing. Work County on top of Webster 30 to nothing. Tight ball game between Doddridge and Tyler consolidated. Number 10 taking on number 12. 13 all in the fourth that, quarter. That is a legit battle right there. Isn't yes. It? Cameron leads Pendleton County 28 to 7. St. Mary's leads Ravenswood 40 to nothing. And Wahama on top of Buffalo 60 to nothing. James Monroe against Bluefield, 14-7. to seven. Mm. And the Metro News Class single-A game of the week, Williamstown having no trouble with Wheeling Central, 65-14. Wheeling Central really needing that win. That was going to be a huge opportunity for them. Greenbrier West, 56-3 to three over Moorefield. And Greenbrier West with the stingiest defense in the state of West Virginia. I think that is the 44th point that they've allowed. This season. This season in 10 games to this point. Tucker County, no trouble with Hampshire. They lead 50 to nothing. Both of these games are National Guard Grid Iron Series contests. East Hardy leads Petersburg 33 to nothing. And Magnolia leads Clay Mattel 21 to 14. And that's the scores we have for you from across the state of West Virginia. I'll tell you what, like you said, uh, some really, really tight ball games and then some other games that are uh, in check. Yeah. In check. In I mean, check. And no, and no trouble at all. Some of those teams are just going to find out if they're going to rise in the rankings or, or slip a spot or so. Yeah. And some may just hold tight. But, folks, we're about a minute away from kickoff. We're going to take another break. Come back. Second half of action coming at you. It's the Mid-State Chevrolet Halftime Show, and it's right here on the Boss 97. I think if you're looking for a job in health care, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. 
Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. At Case IH, we believe it's our job to provide you with solutions. That's why our Farmall and Maxim tractors, as well as our tools and attachments, are designed with you in mind. From mowing to baling to loading and more, we're here to help turn your to-dos into to-dones. At Case IH, we'll keep your days running smoothly with equipment that's durable, versatile, and highly efficient. No wonder farmers are more loyal to Case IH than any other brand. Visit your local dealer or go to caseih.com forward slash livestock for more. All right. And we're back at Clay County. And it is 28 to 6 if you're just tuning in, checking scores. Braxton County in a hole against the Panthers. And we're set to get this second half of action underway here in Clay County. Braxton got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do for sure. And uh, got some work to do on both sides of the ball for sure. Correct. I mean, it's it's not just about scoring, but uh, at the end of the day, we've got to slow down this uh, potent Clay County offense. And it's it, it, it needs to start right here well, in this first possession. And in the current speed at which they're scoring, they're on track to do what they do. Yeah. To put 40-plus on the board. Yeah, they average, what, 45 points I think per that's game? what it was, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> they're on track. We'd yeah. like to stop them. Yeah, uh, nothing personal, but it's yeah. personal. There's great people down here. We just like to beat them. That's yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's it. Just like winning. Yeah, after that, we're BFFs. All right, so Frenchie got the ball set. He's ready to kick it off. We're about to get this second half underway. He whistles blowing, and it ain't snowing, but it's close. He's going to try squibbing it down the field, and it's pulled in nicely by number eight, Yep, Bryson Peters. Why, wise move. Got on that ball quick. So the Panthers with pretty good field position to start out their first offensive series of the second half. Well, and how, how important is this first drive to get a stop? Oh, yeah. It's vital. It, it could set the tempo quickly. Absolutely. Well, it could ignite your offense. Mm. So here like we go. What you're thinking. Yeah. Twins right and left, Collins in the shotgun. He's looking to throw on first down. Takes a shot across midfield. It's picked off. Oh, he had it. I oh, thought he had it. Oh, it was in his punch oh, for about two seconds. Goodness. Braden Morris could not seal it up. He tried, though. Boy, he did a great job. So close. He had it. He had it. He had it. Dropped it. I think he, if he'd have just came down with it and then – Took off running, he'd have been fine. Yep. And he was really the only one there. I mean, just bam. Look how long he had it. He had it for dang near two seconds. But nice job of reading the quarterback size. Here we go. Trips right. Collins fires. Receiver has it caught. And he, that's B.J. Williams, going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Well, they gave him a nice. Location with the ball, so that was a real good spot. Yeah, so third and less than one, so third and about an inch and a half. Triple receivers to the right, single receiver left. Brown, the lone setback, lines up to the right of Noah Collins. Snap comes back. Collins going to keep it right up the A gap. He goes first down into the second level, and got more than enough for the first down. Way, way too much. He, he he wasn't touched until he'd already picked up six. Yeah. Brought down by Michael Stevens for the Eagles. And we got a flag. Way late flag. Somebody's got to be running their chops back there or something. Looks like it's going against Clay County. Dead ball on sportsmanlike conduct against the Panthers. And I really don't understand why you'd be on sportsman like ish when you're up when you're up twenty eight to six. Well, and, and listen, if these guys end up into the playoffs, that's the kind of stuff that can get you in a real jam quickly. Yeah. That stuff's got to get in check quick. Yep. Trips right, single receiver left. First down and twenty five for the Panthers now. Snap back to Collins. 
Swing pass out into the flat. Caught by B.J. Williams, and he's got about 10, 11 of that back. So it's going to be second down, and we'll call it mm, 17. They got about eight yards on that. Still a good pickup. That's, and those are the kind of things you want to do when you're a little deep in the hole. You don't have to get it all. Right. Just chip away Just at it. Just chip away, exactly. Two stacked receivers on the right and left. What I mean is one's lined up right behind the other. Wildcat formation. Collins fires into the middle. Tipped. And it is almost oh. picked off. It went through two Eagles' hands. And almost back into the hands of uh, the Mike Osborne. Yes. Yeah. My goodness. Well, I don't want it. I don't want it. Dink, 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 dink. Get an Eagles hand. Panther hand. Back Eagle into the hand. That's a lineman. Panther hand. <laughs> that's Jacob Stevens clear back here in coverage. He's actually playing linebacker. Yeah. He he, uh, he slid back here, and I don't know, that may be a halftime adjustment. All right, here we go. Twins right and to the left. Collins. He's taking a shot down the field. Home run, bomb. And it is incomplete. And that is going to be the fourth down. Yep, fourth and 17. So be anxious to see what head coach Jason Nichols decides to do here. Uh, it looks like he's going to go for it. Yep, I think so. And at this point, I, I kind of agree with it. Yeah. We are across midfield, so. Exactly. Four quick formation. Collins drops back. Has all kinds of time. Shot across the middle. Overthrown. And falls incomplete. And I'm glad we didn't pick it off there. Yeah, because we have lost a lot of field position. Oh, my gosh. We'd have headed at about the two or three. You got to bat that one down. Yes. So, it's going to be a turnover on down. So, big stop for the Eagles defense. Big stop. And, and. and you know, just as you alluded to, this is really important. Yes. This was a, a, a victory right there at the half that was essential. Now, can we carry this excitement into this offensive drive? Starting from our own 40. That's good field position. Very good for us. Twins right, twins left. Yeah, it's been a battle tonight. Deal in the backfield, lines up behind Moss. Moss pump fakes. Takes a shot and overthrows a wide open receiver oh. by five yards. I'm not even sure the receiver realized the ball was in the air until I, it was too late. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Coach with a great guy that said you can never miss <laughs> an open receiver. Never overthrow yeah. a wide open receiver. Yep. And we did by five yards. Look at that. At the 45, ball lands at the 40. Yep, solid five And yards. he had four yards on his defender. Oh, he had all kind of separation. All right, here we go. Trips right, single receiver left. Deal, trying to find a crease. And he's got a nice four-yard run on se second down. Yep, good run. That's going to bring up third down and six. So not what you'd like to have. You'd like to have more, but still not bad. Now you kind of what do you what do you what are you gonna do here? You gonna pass? You gonna run? I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna have a guy at uh, seven yards, ten yards, and fifteen. Yards. I like it. <laughs> I want something easy. Yeah, I like it. Actually, I'd float Stephen Deal out of the backfield too. Trips right, single receiver left. Ball's on the turf. Deal's got to fall on it, and we go back to the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. We lose four. Hit his hands and dropped right to the ground. Sure did. Right through his hands. Took his eyes off where he had it. So now you're looking at fourth and ten. Got to punt it away. Moss stands back, ready to receive the ball. He's going to try and run it, and he is going backwards. That is... Still on his feet, punt the ball, punt it, punt it, punt it. He's still down the sideline, takes a shot, spin the move, and he's going to go backwards and in down at about the 32-yard line. Oh, God. 
Come on, guys. That's that's football IQ right there. Yep. You got away with it. Now do something with it. Right there when she got away from that first defender. Should have kicked it. Should have tried to punt it right there. So he got it close to back to the line of scrimmage, but again, that gives the Panthers short field. And they, we, they've been hard on this short field. I'm telling you. Chips right, single receiver left. Collins, high snap, swings it out to, oh, uh, what That's happened there? Pass. Yeah. Now he's hand. running for his life, and Collins is going to lose about four yards on that play. It looked like he had stick him in his hands or something. That ball just didn't travel. Yeah. I'd like to see that again. That was very interesting. The high snap. Yep. Uh, oh, empty hand. He, yep. Well, it has cooled down immensely, so you know there's moisture falling down. That ball's going to be slick. So we're looking at second down and 14 now for the Panthers. Trips left, single receiver right. Another defensive stop would be awesome for the Eagles, but we're also running out of time offensively. And that comes back. Collins is looking. Fires into the flat. Caught. Pulled in by number 11, B.J. Williams, and he goes backwards. And he, they're giving him progress ahead. Oh, my. It's going to be third down and nine. It's so he didn't tackle. gain much on that. Yeah, he caught the ball. That's the second time we've seen him go backwards. Catch the ball, north yep. and south. Instantly. And, and you get sometimes they, these guys, they make a play by doing that. And then they think they can do it and Every, do yeah. it and do it. And they're actually creating a bad habit. Right. All right, four quick formation. Collins. He's looking left. He fires left. And it is dropped incomplete. Intended for number two, Jacoby Nichols. And now it's fourth down and nine for the Panthers. Still four down territory. But. Yep. Give that credit where it's due. That Eagle defense doing a good job. Yes, they are. Stonic ran on the coverage. Fourth and nine for the Panthers. They send out two receivers right and two to the left. Twenty-eight to six. Eagles trail here in the third quarter. Six forty-seven remains in the third. Collins drops back. Has time. Fires across the middle. Nice Deflected job. by Cody Stout. Batted down. Perfect. Glad he didn't catch it. Intended for number 11, Benjamin B.J. Williams. All right. So another, another turnover on downs. Another big defensive stop. Excellent. Now we need points. Yep. Well, we at least got to flip the field. Yes. So the Eagles are starting out from their own. About 32-yard line, 31, a 31-yard line. Twins left, twins to the right. Deal the lone setback. Snap back to Moss. Takes a shot. Wounded duck. Picked off by the Panthers at the 43-yard line. Underthrown. Looked yep. like that Kind of this didn't a wobbly get pass now. Yep, just did not get it to the outside shoulder, and he jumped her out. And it's a turnover for the Eagles. <laughs> Come on, guys. Be stingy on this defense again. That's right. You've done it twice. Let's do it thrice. New formation, wing T almost. Two tight ends stacked in high, or two receivers stacked in tight on both sides. Play action scissors. Here we go. That's B.J. Williams trying to get the edge. Stays in behind these blockers. He's at the 50. Now he's in Eagle territory. Goes out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Looks like they may spot at the 46. That was enough for a first down. Yep, that was a uh, a slow developing big play. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Slow developing misdirection. Well executed by those linemen to seal those blocks that long. 
you know what? That there, there's a lot of truth in that because that's not easy to do. No. The longer that play develops, people start slipping and. Well, legitimately, of, that's probably about a four second development. Exactly. All right, here we go. Three receivers right, single receiver left. Collins, hand off to Brown. He's got a hole and a half. He's got a first down. He's into open territory. He is still down the sideline of Clay Side. He's 15, 10, 5, touchdown Panthers. Great googly moogly. Too easy. Well, what was that, a two-play drive? Uh, it wasn't much. Took him a couple series to get it, but. Yep, sure did. All right, come on, guys. 34 to 6 now. I'm speechless, Shane. <sighs> Brown kick is up through the uprights. It is good. 35 to 6 the score here at Clay County. Get a quick break, get a quick snack. The Eagles get the ball when we return in 60 seconds here on the Boss 97. Clear Mountain Bank is now open at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Our team is what makes the difference. Stop by the new branch office and talk to Phyllis, Abby, and Ben and let us show you the community banking difference. Our full service branch provides extended hours through our video teller service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information, please stop by our new location at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Dr. Chad Lancaster DDS offers comprehensive quality care for the entire family. The practice handles all levels of dental work from a basic cleaning or root canal to implants or referrals to other specialists. With a convenient location in Gasaway and a friendly staff awaiting your arrival, they can help you maintain a happy and healthy smile. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Lancaster's dental office by calling 304-364-8565. Panther set to kick the ball away. Jackson Brown boots it down the field, end over end. Fielded cleanly by Cody Stout, and off he runs. That's Ryan Stoniker, sorry. Spin move into the middle, and he stopped right there. Had across the 20 to about the 21, maybe 22-yard line. Mr. Brown has done a very good job kicking the ball. Yes, he has. Well, he's five for five in PATs, and he has pinned us back all night. And he's a sophomore. Well, good news. We'll see him again next year. <laughs> the and year the year after, after that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Doggone it. Yeah. Uh. All right, Eagles, let's get some points here, guys. Come on. Twins right, twins left. Deal the lone setback. Snap back to Moss. Hand off to Deal. And he runs up the middle, and he picks up a couple. It'll be second down and eight for the Eagles. Gain of two on that carry. Five forty on a rolling clock here in the third quarter. Panthers have three hundred forty four total yards of offense. Wow. Four that's, quick formation. That's crazy, isn't it? That is. Moss takes a snap. He drops. Fires into the right side. Pulled in. And it's going to give us a third and very manageable. Going to be two yards shy. And number seven, Carter Lewis, pulled in that pass. Yeah, very third manageable. Two. Very. Yeah. Now. Yeah, it's going to be third and four. Sorry, my line was off. Was it off? Yeah. It's going to be third and four, third and three. You're right. So do you throw on this down? Do you fake the throw, run? The do you play just run? action. That's good. That's a good question. We're gonna see. Trips left, single receiver to the right. Moss hand off the deal. Stutter steps. And your stutter step, you're not moving. He is gonna be about two yards shy of the stick. Waiting for the hole to develop and open it. Yep. About a yard, didn't he? Yep, I believe I'd run her again. You're at the point now. We got to have points. Yeah, we're 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 legitimately in a bind. Yes. Four minutes thirty seconds left in this third quarter. 
and it and it's just ticking away, as you said. Yeah. All right, here we go. They gave us, we got a first down on that. Missed hey, it. I missed that. I did too. I thought he was a yard shy. There we go. Moss swings out oh. into the hands of Cody Stout and out of the hands of Cody Stout. Would, would have been, been a nice game. It would have on first down. Yeah, I thought he was a yard shy on that. On that last uh, that, yeah. run. Yellow line looked short to me of the. Your line to gain. Yeah, the line to gain, so. 35 to 6, Eagles trail. 4 12 remaining in the third quarter. All right, here we go. Trips to the right, single receiver. Brody Smar, the lone receiver to the left. Deal, the lone setback. Snack comes back. Brody taking a shot downfield. In and out of the hands. Wow. Of Jacoby Nichols for Clay County. Well, and Caden uh, Del Watt was back there, just camped out. We are lucky that he did not get that ball. Yes. All right, third down and 10 now for the Eagles. I see his pick up about seven of this at least. At least, yep. Maybe even eight. Well. Regardless, you're going to go for it on fourth anyway, right? Yeah, and I believe I go play action to deal. Suck goes line by and then pop something over the, the crossing route, slant yep. across the middle. I like what you're thinking. Four quick formation. Moss drops back, fires across into the middle. Just out of the outreached hands of Markham, could not pull it in. And it's going to be fourth down to 10. So now you got to go for at least 10 yards. Well, we had too many guys too close. Yes. It was. It was. We had two receivers and four defenders right there. Yeah. Um, separation is the key to the spread <laughs> offense. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure is. That's a good point. All right, the Eagles going to punt. Snap is back. Low snap. Moss gets it off, and it's angling right to the Panthers bench, and it's going to be about a 14-yard, 15-yard punt. Oh, gone. So not what we needed to we did not, the field. No. no, we didn't even flop to the other side of the field. They're going to spot it inside. They're going to spot it just okay. Just so it's, shy. it's about six inches across the 50-yard line in Panther territory. So here come the Panthers. Short field again. Trips left, single receiver right. Collins in the shotgun. I snap, hand off to the tailback. He takes it in. He's got five, still working, trying to get more. They're trying to strip the ball, get him down. B.J. Williams on a nice first down run. Or nope, check that. I think that is Aiden Brown. I think it is. I think you're right. So he got seven on that first down carry. Bucket 325 and ticking here in the third. Second down to third and three for the Panthers. Twins right, twins to the left. Collins calls for the ball. Snap hit. Play action to Brown. Swing pass out into the flat. That's Micah Osborne. He's got a first down. He's down to the 30. Across the 30. And almost gets away. Down near the 25-yard line. Let's see where they mark him down. He was lined up at that tight end position and just acted for a split second and then slipped out into that flat. Yep, little drag route out, yep. right out there. A little delayed release gave him that uh, that nice open cushion right there. First down for the Panthers. They have it down to the 27-yard line. Yeah, that was very smooth. Twins right, twins left for Collins. Brown, the lone setback, lines up to his left. Collins steps back, swings it out to Brown. Brown's got some blockers, and he takes it down. It goes out of bounds on the Eagles sideline at about the 22-yard line. Close to the first down. 
Nothing fancy there, just a little wheel route out of there. Very patient, methodical yep. run. Just picking up yards. All right, here we go. I think it was enough for the first down, so they got a new set of downs. Trips right, single receiver to the left. Snap comes back. Hand off to Brown. Open hole. He's in the secondary. And he takes it down near the 10. Going to mark him down at the 11. That's tackle. another first down. Good tackle by Cody, but he hesitated, or I don't think Cody would have been able to make that clean of a tackle. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm really surprised that he cut towards Cody because – he I mean, had to come over about three yards to right. to hit Cody instead of just going straight north and south. He'd have got more yardage. Maybe he just likes to hit people. Chips right, single receiver left. Collins. It's a swing pass out into the flat. Ten, five, touchdown, untouched for B.J. Williams and the Panthers, and they're on the board again. So, 41-6. Whew. Too easy. Yep. Well, short field. Good. A, a good offense usually takes advantage of that opportunity. Yes. So Jackson Brown trying to make it a 36-point advantage for his squad. The lead is 35 now for the Panthers. Snap is high. It's back, and the kick is good, though. That was close. Sure was. 42 to 6. 141 remains in this third. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on the Boston 97. For me, part time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com slash WV to find out more. I think if you're looking for a job in health care, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. Welcome back. It's 42-6. to six. Eagles need a score. But we're going to continue his clock here soon, Shane. Very soon. Yeah. Minute and 41 seconds. Yeah. Here we go. Brown approaches. And he kicks the tar out of that. Fielded cleanly by number seven, Carter Lewis. And up ahead he goes still on his feet. And he's going to get Tomahawk down to the carpet at about the 25. Too much shake and bake. Yep. Running plays and out, too long. And all that does is give up real estate. That's it. You like that rhyme? Yep, I like it. <laughs> all right, so the Eagles are going to take over first and 10 from the 29, I believe. That's where they spot it. There you go. Good, good eye. You got that old eagle eye, don't you? I, I try. Old dead eye. Yeah, old, old, old dead, dead eye. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Twin receivers out wide to the right and to the left. Got a new tailback in there. Looks like Cody Stout in the backfield now. Moss hands off to Cody. He's got a little running room, and he gets engulfed by a pack of Panthers and gets about two yards. And that is it. And I think they're going to officially give him three, so it's going to be second down and seven for the Eagles. And the clock is ticking. Time becomes even more critical at this point. Yeah, it sure does. Damon sends out three receivers to the right, one to the left. Snap, hand off to Stout, trying to get the edge. Lost the ball, picked up, scooped by the Panthers, and it's a foot race. 
Down to the 21-yard line, and it's going to be Panther ball. Talk about a short field. Great googly moogly. Never got the ball secured. Nope. Fortunately for us, the Panther, B.J. Williams, couldn't get taken off or nobody would have caught him. Yeah, he's he's got really good acceleration. So, like I say, thank goodness before he could get started. Yep. We were able to get to him. Wildcat formation. That means triple receivers to the right, twins to the left. Collins sets Baird in motion. Jet sweep action. Baird trying to get the corner, and Deal catches him from behind. Or not. Yeah. Yep. Good. good Stephen Deal. Only about a four yard gain. It'll be about second down and six. Tell you what, Stephen. Uh... Said, uh, you're not going anywhere when he got his paws on him. Yep. It's like officially only a three-yard gain, so second down and seven. Collins is going to send out two receivers to the right and left. Brown, the lone setback. Beard in motion again, and they're going to go to Brown. And he's got an escort down the field. He's at the 10, he's at the 5, and he's going to take it in. For the Clay County touchdown at the buzzer. So another score to close out the third quarter. Oh, going it. 48 to 6, and we're going to await the PAT. That will definitely end the third quarter. Uh, affirmative, sir. Great downfield blocking by the Panthers. So here we go. Jackson Brown set to attempt the PAT. Map is good. Holds good. Kick is good. And he's seven for seven on the night. He's money, buddy. Yes, he is. We'll be back at the end of third, 49 to six. Central West Virginia Aging is looking for caregivers in all of its seven offices. If you want to make a difference in a fragile senior's life, contact Debbie at 304-765-3668. Central West Virginia Aging Services has one of the most competitive rates of pay and benefit plans in the home service industry. For more information on services needed or employment, call Debbie at 304-765-3668 or on the web at centralwvaging.org. A proud supporter of Braxton County Athletics. It's not just a home or a car. It's the five hours you spent in the kitchen mastering your epic wing recipe and a three-hour family road trip to the favorite fishing hole. While other insurance companies just see them as a bundle or combo, State Farm agent Vicki Murphy sees your home and car as the time and memories you put into them. I understand what your things really mean to you, and I'm here to help you give them the right protection they deserve. Talk to me, State Farm agent Vicki Murphy in Gasaway, for your home home and auto insurance today. Call 304-364-8600. 9 to 6 your Eagles trail. It was 14 to 6 at the end of one. The Panthers have scored 14 in the second, 21 in the third. Way too much. Way too much. And here we go. Panthers kicking off. To the Eagles. And Brown's kickoff goes into the end zone. So he's gotten stronger as the night went on. He really has. He's gotten plenty of practice this evening. <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> yes. He's a kicking machine. So it's a touchback. And that'll bring the ball out for the Eagles. To the 20 yard line. That's where they'll take over first to 10. Well, and at this point, you know, these guys are, some of these seniors, this is their last football game. You know, and you yes, you, you got to go out playing hard. Continuous clock here in the fourth quarter. The only thing will stop it is a timeout or an injury. Twins right, twins to the left. So this fourth quarter will be very quick for these guys. Looks like Stout, the lone setback. Moss, rolling, for, running for his life. Tucks it and goes. And he's still down the sideline. He's close to the stick. Going to be about a yard shy. 
It's a good little pickup. Should be second down and about one. Unless mm. he went out of bounds earlier. Looks yeah. like he did, yep. So it's going to be a, get about a six-yard pickup. So second down and four. Thought he had a little more than that, but must have stepped out before. Evidently. It's hard to see from our angle. Terribly difficult. All right, here we go. Twin receivers to the right and left. Deal back in the backfield. Snap comes back. Handoff deal. Up the A-gap he goes. And he's still trying to get. He's still churning the burning, Shane. And nice he's job. close to the marker. He worked hard for those yes, three sir. and a half yards. Yards after contact right there, buddy. Yeah, boy. And it was enough for the first down. They're moving the chains. Nice job, Steven. Way to go, Steven Dale. Yeah, boy. All right, here we go. Twin receivers to the right and to the left. Moss takes a snap. Hand off the deal again. Sticks his nose up into there. Picks up a couple of yards. Be second down and eight. Well, pick, picking up positive yards, but we need to pick up chunks. I'd agree. Yeah, I'd agree with you. Keep them in, in you know, as we discussed, sometimes you got to run that ball right up in the gut to set up the next play. Yep. 49 to six. Nine minutes and ticking here in this fourth quarter. Last quarter of football for the Eagles this season. Twins right. Check that. Trips right. Single receiver left. Moss takes a snap. Wants to throw. Pump fakes. Now he's running. Fires out into the flat. Intended for Cody Stout. Falls incomplete. We third and eight now for the Eagles. Well, and that was some somewhat of a busted play. Yeah. But we still got to try and come up with some positive yards here. Uh, we got third down and fourth down yep. to keep the ball moving, keep it out of their hands. We've ran a lot of yards tonight, but it's all been lateral. A lot of lateral yardage. Good point. Twins right, twins left. Moss takes a snap, drops back. Fires out into the flat to the right. Cody Stout has it. And he is... Got about another two yards, maybe three, and it's going to be fourth down and looks like fourth and five. Mike Osborne in on the tackle for the Panthers. Eagles are going to fall to one and nine on the season. Not the season they had hoped and dreamt for. Panthers are going to go to eight and two and possibly not make the playoffs. That's that's really hard to believe, isn't it? It's hard to grasp, isn't it? Very hard to grasp. Lewis and Stout, the wideouts to the right. Brody Smar and Declan, Declan Meadows, the wideouts to the left. Moss on the quarterback keeper, sticks his nose up in there, turns, and he's got a first down for the Eagles. Nice. Should be enough for the first down. Move those chains, Mr. Chain Gang folk. Well, the key here, I mean, obviously we want to score, but we're keeping it away from them. Yes. Ball spotted on the 41-yard line. Lee County. 100, 415 total yards of offense tonight to the Eagles, 180. Wow. That's a statement. It is indeed. Twins right, twins left. Moss drops back. 
Takes a shot downfield, and it is picked uh. off. And that young feller's got a road to the sideline, and out of bounds at about the 35 on the Eagle sideline. Maybe the 34. Exactly what we didn't want to see happen. Exactly. He led the Eagle receiver a little bit too far. And that young man goes out at the 34. So, again, another short field for the Panthers. Clock at 544. Continuous clock goes quick. And we got timeouts on the field. Panthers going to, Eagles going to take a timeout, so we'll take it with them. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on the Boss 97. Central West Virginia Real Estate is the leading real estate sales agency in Braxton, Gilmer, and surrounding counties. Brian Gross Broker leads a team of 13 agents with over 150 years experience. Over the last few years, we've averaged a closing every four days. Central West Virginia Real Estate will market your property on over 60 leading websites, social media platforms, local advertising, and two offices at Sutton and Glenville. Are you thinking of selling or want to know what your property is worth? Contact us today at centralwvre.com. Take a ride to the north side. Northside Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat Route 19 in Summersville on Northside Drive. Everybody rides at Northside, taking care of all your Ram truck and Jeep needs for over 20 years. And proud supporters of local sports. Every one of our Northside pre-owned vehicles goes through a rigorous inspection process. And we stand behind everything we sell. Get your next ride on Northside Drive from Northside Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat. NorthsideJeep.com. Hi, this is Gabby from People's Bank. I'm here to tell you about People's Bank's new CD special. It is so good, you need to stop by any People's Bank location today and ask your banker to tell you more. Or visit pebo.com. This special will not last long. You must open your account by September 7th. People's Bank. Working together. Building success. Member FDIC. Going to be a gain of eight officially. Second down and two now for the Panthers. Twins left, trips right. Jet sweep action again. Del Wart's got the first down. Got a flag on the play. He's caught from behind. Brought down. Uh, number 35 for the Eagles. Not real sure who that is. Got holding. Got a holding on the Panthers. <laughs> so that's going to negate that run. Ten yard penalty for the Panthers. Going to back him up to second down and 12. All right. Here we go. Triple receivers to the right. Single receiver left. Collins takes a snap. Swings it out to Del Ward again. He's got a first down. Still trying to get ahead, and he's down inside the 25, about the 23-yard line. Come on, fellas. Bend, but don't break. Clock is nearing the four-minute mark. All right, single receiver to the right. Trips left. We got whistles again. Oh, they don't have the... I don't know what first down for the Panthers, what the official marked. Gotcha. Trips left, single receiver right. Here we go. Swing pass into the flat. Del Wart's got it again. And he gets drugged down after about a four-yard gain. Maybe five. We'll be second down, and we'll call it six. He's pretty shifty. Yes, he is. Stephen Deal got his hands on him. Once somebody gets a hold of him, he doesn't go far, but. He's pretty shifty. Five, six hundred and eighteen pounder. But he is shifty. Light on his feet. Light. <laughs> yeah, literally. 
He could use a sandwich. He's sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Jet sweep action again. It's Delhort again. Trying to get the edge, and Deal says, not on my watch. Loss of a few yards there. Never got turned up field. Deal got off that block very nicely. And nowhere for Del Hort to go. Nope. So now we're looking at a second down at six here. Got they've some. they've been uh, feeding him pretty steady right here. I would look for something different. Yep, four quick formation. B.J. Williams and the jet sweep action now. He's got a hole and a half. Nice read off the block. He's got a first down. He's still on his feet. <clears throat> and out of bounds. we got a flag on the play. Holding against the Panthers again negates that first down. So not only are the Panthers racking up points, they're racking up penalties. Which I'm sure they'll not like to have that discussion after the ball game. Yeah, exa yeah. especially if there's any hopes of them going into the playoffs. Right. That That's the kind of stuff that will get you in a bind quickly in a playoff-type game. Yep. Yeah, because when you advance into the playoffs, you're playing – every game is a higher level of play. Correct. Well, and, and listen, you got the top 16 teams in the state at that point. That's right. You're not playing any slouch. Trips right and single receiver left. Snack comes back to Collins. Swings it out to Brown. He's got a nice edge, but then it slows down and goes out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Brings up fourth down for the Panthers. Working that edge, I just keep uh, – this could be the shot over the top. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Could be lulling them to sleep. Yep. They've been working the edge, working the edge, working the edge. This fourth down and fourth and a few. Fourth and about 14, 15. Could be the shot over the top. I may be wrong, but could be. Chips left, twins right, wildcat formation. Jet sweep action. Nope. Going at it again. B.J. Williams has it, and he is not going anywhere. Deal got him again. i tell you what, buddy. Old Steven gets his hands on you. You're in trouble. Yep. Well, we should take over on downs, right? Should be our ball with 40 seconds to work with. On a quickly running clock. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, accelerated. Down to 27 seconds remaining for these seniors. And at the rate we're going, probably going to be the last play of the game. The play clock and the game clock are nearly only about a second off. <laughs> Here we go. Last play for the Eagles if we get it off. Twins right and twins left. Snap comes back. Moss drops. Takes a shot downfield. It is batted and knocked down, and that is the ball game. 49 to 6 is the final here. Your Eagles fall to 1 and 9. The Panthers go to 8 and 2 and cling now to hopes that they have done enough to get themselves into playoffs. Let's have to see how it shakes out. Have to see how it shakes out. So, folks, that's going to do it for us. We're going to step aside, and take a short break here. Some words from our sponsors come back for the Mark the Rose Ford post game show. Player of the game coming up. And then we're going to wrap it up here from Clay County. We'll be back in a few minutes here on the Boss 97 FM. Go ahead and go. <laughs> 